Hey, this is Ryan from the Proxy Network support team here with a demonstration of how to download and install the Proxy Pro 10 remote access software. From your browser, visit proxynetworks.com forward slash downloads, and at the very top, you'll be able to right click and download the software zip file. Once that's been downloaded, let's get the folder open, right click and extract, and we can begin. So once the software has been extracted, you'll see two folders. Go inside the Proxy Pro Server Products folder, and then once you're in there, you can run our bundle installer, the Proxy Pro Server Products.exe, and this will download and install any of the prerequisites necessary, including SQL Express. You can use an existing SQL database server if you have one already. Choose the first option to have it download. SQL Express, let's accept the license terms, and then provide the URL that you'd like your server to be reached at. Typical examples might be support.yourcompanyname.com. And then the next step is to choose the ports that are used here, 443 for the web console, 8443 for the gateway. And here we can import our SSL certificate or generate a self-signed one if you're just trialing or evaluating. Going live would require a trusted cert. And for testing, you can use the second option here. For going live with a trusted cert, use the top option. And then we move on to service account creation. The web console will run as your domain name slash remote control console, and the installer will create the account for you. Give it a password you like, and then the identity manager will also run as a service. It can run as the same one. And then lastly, the remote control gateway service account will run the gateway. The server, the installer will also create the account for you. Click OK, select our trial or import or copy paste your license key, and the installation will uh, begin. Here it'll give you a summary of the components to be installed. Check your work, click install. And in a few minutes, we'll be ready for first time login. Great, so once the software is installed, let's do some first time login configuration work. Let's log in with the local administrator account or a user account that's a member of the server's local administrators group. Once we get logged in, we can create some groups here, maybe based on business unit or location or department or however your business is laid out. And then we can use the accounts tab to tell the software who can log in and what they have access to. So you'd probably add yourself to the list here and including any of the users that would need to use this for support purposes. The administrative user would be you, typically the person installing and configuring this software. You would have access to all the tabs including the accounts tab to set access for users, activity and analytics to view usage and run reports, and the gateway tab to do some configuration. John Smith is a standard user so I'll make him a master user and click next. He's responsible for the Hartford machines and that's it. So I'll select that group and click next. When John Smith logs in he can see support and connect to only the machines within the Hartford group. Let's click save. Let's go back to the host tab. There's one more configuration adjustment we'll do and that's on the gateway tab on the network sub tab. What we want to do is adjust the values for application access external and internal so that they match that of the firewall rules here. This server happens to be on SSL 8443. Let's set those values as appropriate and then we can point a host to the server and connect. We have a deployment tool that will let you configure the host deployment package so that it gets rolled out with your desired settings including the gateway server talkback info but I've got the machine I've got a machine right here that we can configure to report to the server manually I'll click add gateway switch the port and protocol to that of which we're using and put in the address of the server which would be supportcenter.proxydesktop.com and that machine shall report itself in and then become accessible for connectivity Click OK, close this connection window, and it will appear on this web console as available for connectivity. Great. So let's right click, connect, and connect in browser.
Great. So that's the process to get up and running with the Proxy Networks version 10 RAS software. Thank you for watching.